My name is David Andre, and I'll show you how to build AI agents using the new Llama 3 model, even if you have a bad computer and know nothing about programming. Now, we're going to be using Olama to run the models locally, VS Code to write the code, and Grog to achieve super fast performance. And look at this. And now, boom, 216 tokens per second. Now, this is the big model. Let's try the smaller one, Llama 3 8 billion. And let's do, tell me a long joke. Like, that was instant. So at the end of this video, I'll show you how to connect Grog to your team of agents. That way you can get the benefits of this insane speed. Now, check this out. This is the LLM arena where the language models are ranked Llama 370B. An open source model is better than GPT-4. The future is here. If you aren't doing anything about it, if you aren't building AI agents, you're falling behind. So I urge you to take the first step and build something. To make this as easy as possible for you, I've built an entire workshop that will teach you step by step how to build AI agents, even if you're not a programmer. You can get it inside of my community, the link will be in the description. So let's get to building agents. I was planning on building on top of a previous project, but then I realized I think you'll get more value if I build everything from scratch. So the basics, right? Go to olama.com and hit download. Then you need VS Code. Go to code.visualstudio.com and download it. Obviously, the next thing you need is the model. So if we go to uh, Olama, click on models and select Llama 3, obviously, I would recommend going with the 8 billion model, which is already really good. So copy this command, just click on here, copy it, go to your terminal. And if you don't have uh, Conda, that's okay. In VS Code, just click on terminal and do a new terminal. And you should be able to run the Olama right here, right? Yeah, exactly. The first time you run this, obviously, you won't be able to run the LLM. You cannot just be like, hey, Llama, because you haven't downloaded the model yet. So the first time you do this, it will start downloading the model. Now, 4.7 gigabytes, the smaller one, so it will take like 20 minutes. The bigger one though, if you have a really good PC, this one is 40 gigabytes, so this will take like three hours, probably. Either way, you have to download it the first time you use it, right? Which is fine because you only have to do this once. By the way, quick tip, whenever you're in a chat and you wanna end it, just go slash buy, and you don't have to kill the terminal each time. So we run this and this is just to chat with the LLM locally. And that's already pretty good. I mean, most people can't do that. But honestly, we're not interested in that. This is kind of a basic. We want to build AI agents with Llama 3. So let's go into VS Studio. By the way, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I created just an empty file, you know, clicking, right clicking, new file, naming it main.py. Just an empty Python file, literally as simple as that. So what we need to do is we need to import Olama. So go from langchain underscore community dot LLMs import Olama. And as you can see, it's highlighted, meaning we have not installed it. I have to be in the correct um, environment. Okay, so yeah, if you have not installed this package yet, don't worry, just go in here, go into your terminal. By the way, again, you can do this straight in VS Code. Just go into your terminal, make sure you're in the right environment. I mean, you can just use the base environment if you want and just type in pip install crew AI. Literally just type that and it will install everything. And as you can see, I already have it. If you don't have it, it will take like 20 seconds. So don't worry. Inside of crew AI, uh, you'll get the Langchain community package, which is what we'll use to import Olama. Next, we need crew AI. So from crew AI, we need to import some things. We need to import agent, task, crew and process. That's it. Those are the two imports we need. Next thing, we need to uh, decide the model. So I'm just going to use a variable and Olama, we have to do model equals and put the name of the model as it's named in Olama. If you're using the default version, this, the 8 billion, just type in Llama 3. If you want to use the 70B version, um, then do Llama 3 70B. So I'm just going to do Llama 3 because... Um, faster. <laughs> it's faster. So yeah. And now I need to decide what type of agents I want to build. And I'll just keep this simple. That way all of you can follow along. And what I came up with is a simple email classifier. So we'll go, the first agent will receive a random email and classify it. And based on the classification, the second agent will write a response. So let's create a new variable named email. And this is just going to be a simple string. And I'm going to do a random one, uh, Let's do the classic Nigerian prince sending some gold. Let's see if the LLMs are smart enough to recognize this is a spam. By the way, all of the code and prompts from this video will be linked below the module. So 
another reason to join the community. Anyways, let's create our first agent and this is going to be classifier. And we're going to do agent like this, beautiful. And first we need to give it a role, which is basically just a second name, right? And this is going to be email classifier. Next, we need to give it a goal. So what is what will this agent do? What's his main goal? Goal equals accurately classify emails based on their importance. Give every email one of these ratings. Important, casual sp or spam. And then we need to give it a backstory. And I'm just going to keep it super simple. That way this is not a <laughs> two hour video. Uh, the next thing I need to do is set verbose. So verbose equals true. This will let us see the flow of the messages inside of the terminal. Next, we do allow delegation equals false because we don't want this agent delegating this task to somebody else. And lastly, and this is super important, we need to assign the LLM, which is model. If we don't do this, it will automatically default to GPT-4, which will not work because we haven't provided the API for OpenAI. But we don't want GPT-4, we want Llama 3. And that's our agent done. Crew AI makes it super simple. Next agent is going to be responder. So responder equals agent. And then we basically do the same, but for an email responder. And again, GitHub Copilot just saved me some time. Based on the importance of the email, write a concise and simple response. All right, verbose, true, beautiful. All of this is the same. So now we have our agents created. Super simple. Now we need to define the task. So First task, I'm just going to name classify email equals task. And creating tasks inside of Crew AI is even simpler than creating agents. First, we do a description. Description equals, and then I'm going to do an F string. And the reason for that is because I want to enter the variable we've created, right, for the email. So F strings in Python just allow you to insert the variable inside of a string. Agent equals classifier. And then expected output one of these three options important casual or spam yes beautiful so that's our first task created then we're going to create a second task respond to email okay exactly beautiful description respond to the email now we have created both of the tasks next step is to define the crew crew equals crew and first we need to assign the agents exactly a list of agents so just create a list and enter all of the agents you have can be two, can be three, can be 10. It's up to you. Then we do tasks and be careful because I used to put task here and this will not cause an error, but it will cause your uh, crew not to work. Verbose is different here. It's either one or two. I'm going to do two and then process equals process dot sequential. And the last thing we need to do is output equals crew dot kickoff. Okay. And then obviously I need to print it out to see it. And now this should work. Fingers crossed. Let's see it. Do we have a team of Llama free agents working or not? Okay. This is promising. Let's look at the activity monitor. So we have memory used 36. It went up from like 30, which is means that the Llama free 8 billion uses like three to six gigabytes of RAM, which is very good news because most of you can run it. But this is bad news because <laughs> it's probably going to include a bunch of junk. It should not be this slow. It should be much faster. And I'm suspecting that we're going to see a bunch of hallucinations. Oh my God, what is this? So I don't know why this is happening. But inside of Crew AI, Llama 3 does not seem to be working well. It works perfectly in the terminal, but some, like somehow through Crew AI, it's uh, not really working well. I mean, I can try verbose false. It's not the issue of the model, clearly. Like, look at this. This is perfect, right? <laughs> look at this. The model said a classic rating spam. The Nigerian Prince email is a well-known example of a phishing scam. Yeah. So, perfect. I mean, it gave it the rating exactly as I wanted. But somehow, running it as an agent through Crew AI is causing troubles. I have no clue why. So, we've tested this. Now, I'm going to show you how to add the Grok API. So, if you have a bad computer, and you want to use the API, I'm going to show you how. So, okay, well, let's go Grog and let's go Grog Cloud and let's go API keys, create API key. I'm just going to do Llama free, submit, and I'm going to delete this before posting the video. 
you know, never share your API keys with anybody. I'm going to do grog API key equals. Let's go into documentation, see how we connect it. Let me duplicate this, rename, because we want to do grog. So now this is for the grog, right? So we delete Olama and okay, let's follow along with this. We can just probably delete this altogether, honestly. Following the GitHub, official GitHub from CrewAI might be the move, right? So we need to assign these three variables and just make it default, right? So OpenAI API base, OS that environment. Yes, so we need to import OS. We copy this. We need these three lines and we actually need them not commented out. Beautiful. Let's go to Grok documentation and open our compatibility and the base URL, copy this. Open our API base equals model name. Let's copy this again. And the API key test moment of truth. Oh my God, <laughs> it works. It works and look at the speed though. Let's try the different email and let's do it. Look at the speed. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, so I'm just gonna explain what I did. So I'm, I was completely trolling. The answer was right in front of my eyes, right here inside of the main GitHub from Crew AI. I just needed to assign these three variables, right? And the reason why I deleted the LLM is because Crew AI is automatically made to use the default one. So like this is like basically hidden, right? Something like this is hidden. And you don't have to do that if you're using the OpenAI endpoint. And guys, let's just appreciate the speed one more time. Like this is an API. Look at this. Insane. This is the AI revolution. We are watching the AI revolution happen right in front of our eyes. Unfortunately, 99% of people will miss out on the AI revolution. And I don't want you to be one of them. The only way to stay ahead is to surround yourself with people who are at the cutting edge of AI which is exactly why I created the community. I'm looking for people who want to take AI seriously. So if that sounds like you, make sure to join. First link in the description.